Welcome to a new Alfresco video. We are talking today on how to integrate Alfresco repository with Gen AI stack, with generative AI provided by Docker and other uh, partners. So we can start defining what is this new Docker Gen AI stack. All the source code is available in the uh, uh, Docker account in GitHub and is this new Gen AI stack. So you have a uh, source code together with some uh, deployment instructions and also with some sample applications. So the main features of this stack is that we are able to deploy everything locally. So we have our uh, chat model like uh, Llama 2 or uh, some other locally by using Olama as, as the of the software uh, to download this uh, model to our computer. We have also the embedding model with the sentence transformers, and we have the vector database Neo4j that is also uh, including this uh, graph analysis, this rack uh, context, in order to create something that is not only provided by the uh, chat model, but this knowledge, but also what additional information we can provide. We are uh, we can create applications by using LangChange and Python, so we are able to create interfaces to interact with this uh, with this stack. And the great thing about that is that everything can be deployed locally uh, with Docker. It's providing a Docker Compose template, so we can have like everything inside our domain on premise, and we don't need to send our data away. If we uh, look at our fresco and we think on how to integrate this AI stack with our fresco, mainly there are uh, two approaches for the existing content. We can get all the documents by using the REST API from Alfresco or the documents we want to get and uh, interact with the Gen AI stack to get some enrichment that uh, after the calculation we can update in Alfresco. For the new content, we can listen to the, to the active queue, to the messaging API, we can consume these events and we can do exactly the same thing. We interact with the Gen AI stack in order to get the enrichment and update again Alfresco. Um, in order to play a bit with it, what we are providing today is a sample, a sample project with the name Summarizer. You have also the source code available in all Alfresco Labs GitHub account, and you have all the elements required in order to run this stack. If we uh, look at all the elements that are provided, so we have a default Alfresco repository using the exposing the REST API and also exposing the ActiveMQ, the asynchronous API, the messaging API. So uh, we are providing an Spring Boot application that is built on top of the Alfresco um, SDK that is uh, getting documents from a folder of the repository and uh, sending the information, every PDF to GenAI, we created a new program in this uh, GenAI stack that is expecting a PDF and returning the summary of the PDF. We are also consuming uh, these events from the ActiveMQ in order to do exactly the same thing, just to send the information, to send the PDF to the generative AI stack and to get the summary. Uh, once we have the summary, we are just updating the uh, the Alfresco uh, document with this using the CM description uh, property. And what we built on the Gen AI stack is a REST API that is accepting a PDF and is producing a summary text. If we want to move on the details, again, uh, we have three different folders. The, fir the first one is Alfresco, that is a regular Docker Compose deployment. We have an Spring Boot application, this one, that is connecting to the Alfresco server, that is also uh, expecting to read on a folder, and that is connecting to the ActiveMQ server. So we have the REST API and also the messaging API. And finally, we are connecting uh, to the Gen AI stack 
in order to get these these summaries. And the source code is uh, quite simple, to be honest. It's just to uh, read the the folder, and for each entry, we are connecting with the Gen AI uh, client to this service. Uh, REST uh, API endpoint that we created on the Gen AI stack and is getting the uh, the response, and then we are just uh, updating the uh, document and we are doing more or less exactly the same thing. This is for the folder using the REST API, and we are doing exactly the same thing for the events. So we are listening to the event, a node is created, and then we are uh, waiting for the rendition so we can uh, do exactly the same operation. Just a quick note on this. We made a small modification on this uh, Docker Compose deployment. So we can, uh, so the repository is producing also the rendition events because by default, these events are not produced. So uh, we have this uh, simple Spring Boot application uh, relying on the uh, Java SDK. So we are using the Java SDK for the REST API and also for the event API. So with that, we are listening to this. And what we did on the Gen AI stack is to create this service that is uh, waiting so we have all the land chain uh, configuration with the LLM chain and so on. And what we are just doing is uh, to create an um, endpoint, this uh, summary endpoint that is expecting a file. We are sending information to the Neo4j uh, vector database and we are getting the uh, summary from the, from the document. So quite simple, you can create your own uh, project, your own endpoint uh, for this. Uh, then you just need to create a simple Docker file and uh, to build on the compose uh, on the compose file, the LLM, just palling the model because you need to download the, the model locally, the database for Neo4j and your service. So quite simple. So uh, remember again that we need Alfresco running locally. We need also the GenI stack with our services, with our custom services or the services that are produced by default. And then we have this uh, Spring Boot application that is uh, listening uh, to the active MQ or that is able to get the documents from a folder in Alfresco. If we have, if we move to the Alfresco, this is the third files that by default is what is configured. So on the on the summarize by default, you can also use the command line for that. We are reading documents from this uh, folder. So if we load a document, for instance, this one that is a document written in, in Japanese, we can start the program that is uh, so we have the dna stack running we have the alfresco stack running and we have this uh spring move application uh, so we can just uh, run this application and uh, it's going to get the document it's getting the uh, the document and uh, is just trying to create this summary for it. As the PDF rendition was not yet available, it was requested, and after a while, the document was updated with the GNA stack summary. So if we go back to the Alfresco ser, we can see a summary of the document already created. And we can do now exactly the same thing for every document as we are listening uh, to the uh, to the events, so we add a new uh, document to Alfresco. Then we can see also that 
uh, we are listening to the to the document and trying to summarize the new document. So after a while, the Gen AI stack will produce the summary for the note, and we will be updating the document in Alfresco. So now we have also the, the summary, and we can check also the summary for this. Uh, document and we are also adding a tag with the uh, language model we are using for for this we're using mistral but you can use also llama 2 or gpt with the api k and so on if you want to uh, to play with different language model so just remember this is a simple project just trying to explore how this new gen ai stack from docker is is running how that can be integrated with alfresco and we are providing a simple way to test how that works this is only experimental by now but you can wait something uh new in the in the next re releases that may help you to understand how this work so that was everything today i hope that was useful and see you next time